Hey y'all, welcome back to the At Home Body Weight Program. We're on week four, day four of our first month. Super excited. Now here's what we have for you guys today. We have a full body 12 minute AMRAP, okay? Our skill work for today is all about body position, body awareness through jumping and turning, all right? But let's get started. One of the most important parts, our warm up. So I'm gonna talk while Christian moves through most of this. I might jump in with you guys as well. We're starting with some standing cat cows. So from here, you'll see that we're allowing the hips to move, we're allowing our chest to move. So we'll go big inhales, you get a proud chest. Exhales, you press your hands away and round out that back. Beautiful, let's keep moving. Good, we're gonna go for about 10 more seconds here. Again, the hips pull back as the chest pulls forward and then our hips tuck as we round our shoulders out and reach out in front of us. Three, two, one, awesome job. Going with some lateral reaches next. We'll go soft bend in the knees. Allow your hips to push out to the side as much as you feel comfortable with. And one hand is coming across our belly. The other hand is reaching up and overhead, really reaching through those fingertips. Beautiful. Again, neck stays long. Maybe take your gaze up towards the sky or up towards the ceiling on these. And see if you can get an exhale through the reach and an inhale when you come back to the center. Nice, 10 more seconds. Good. Again, get that lower body moving. Get this upper body feeling nice and warm, nice and loose. Three, two, one. Nicely done. Now, we're going to turn a little bit here, our vertical rotation. So, starting from the ground up, we're going to keep our feet flat, but we're going to allow this movement to come from our knees and our hips. Okay, even the ankles are really working here. So, we rotate and then we reach directly behind us. And you'll see Christian is just allowing his eyes to follow his fingertips. So again, the ankles, knees, and hips, they rotate. We reach behind us, bring it back to the center, and switch up sides. Excellent job. We'll go for 10 more seconds here. Again, just nice and fluid movement, matching your breath to your movement for another three, two, one. Awesome. Now, something similar, but we're gonna get the arms involved a little bit more, warm up the shoulders a little bit more. You'll see Christian's gonna lock out his arms. Yes. And then from there, we're going to reach up and back, kind of like a backstroke. You're going to allow your eyes to look where you're reaching. And again, you'll notice that this time his torso is really rotating as those hands reach behind him. And we're just sticking with this one direction right now for about 10 more seconds, then we'll switch it up. So again, we're reaching back, we're staying tall through the top of our head, allowing still the lower body and the upper body to rotate for three, two, one, excellent. Let's bring it back around the other way. We'll take those arms, lock them out, and now we'll go forwards this time. Again, the whole body is moving. We're reaching as far as we can. Really reach to those fingertips. Extend those arms nice and long. Again, this is our opportunity to check in with our energy for the day. Check in with how our body is feeling. Where are we sore? Are we not sore at all? Are we feeling ready to hit it hard? Or do we need to scale back a little bit today? Good. Let's keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Good work, good work. Hitting the hips next, okay? Working on our hip circles. So what I want you to do is either balance or find something to hold on to. We're going to bring our leg out in front of us, extending the leg long. So we're going to try to take that bend out of the knee. We'll bring the leg out to the side. We'll rotate the toes forward or the hip internally as we then kick the leg back. So again, we go foot up foot to the side, we rotate and kick, kick, kick back behind us. Now our challenge to you guys, we'll do this one more time on this side before we switch, is to stay tall. Try not to let your upper body you know, lean too far forward or too far to the side. And then we're gonna go three on the opposite side. So we come up, we go to the side and we kick back. And if you're moving really fast, I'm gonna challenge you to slow down. Try to match Christian's pace here. Beautiful, again, use that breath. You can see he's challenging his single leg balance, which is something that we continue to kind of throw at you guys. Keep that core tight. Nice, good job. Beautiful, how you feeling? Feel great, yep, cool. feel real good. All right, we're going to get into some pogos next, okay? So we'll use the space that we have. You guys use the space that you have. Again, you can do this in place or you can actually travel with it, all right? But on these pogos, we're gonna just go double leg here. And we're just working on a little bit of a bounce, a hop. And when we hop, we want to pull our toes up. So can you demo, Christian? Yes, 
exhale, so his hands are involved. Beautiful. We got that for 30 seconds, okay? I'm going to jump in with you guys on this one. Three, two, one. Now we're going to try to hit the ground and jump right back up. So trying to make that timing on the ground as minimal as possible. Nice. Keep it going, keep it going. We've got 10 more seconds. to bend your knees a lot, right? So we're really just kind of focusing on the ankle and not going into a squat jump. Mm -hmm. 100%, okay. We'll be going with these 45 degree pogos for 20 seconds. Okay. Ready, three, two, one, go, go. Good, so again, turning at a 45 degree angle, you can see Christian is traveling, right? But it's okay to do this in place. If you're moving, you could go forwards, you could go backwards, you could turn around. Keep it up for another five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Relax. Good work. Good work. You okay on your breath? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All great. right. Good. Make it short. So going into our 90 degree pogos next. Will you demo this one mm -hmm. real quick so we can see? So now... We're turning all the way to the side, a 90 degree turn, but we're coming back to the center each time. So a full turn, 90 degrees, back to the center, full turn. The upper body rotates the whole way on this one, so your whole body turns to the side, okay? Mm -hmm. 20 seconds here, going in three, two, one, go, go. Good, so we turn, back to the center, turn, other side, nice. Again, try not to put too much bend in the knees, just a light, Landing, soft landing, quick turns. There you go. Getting the whole body working. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Relax. All right. Last pogo for the day is going to be some single leg work. Okay? We've got to throw that single leg stability, single leg work mm -hmm. in for you guys. So can you demo this one? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Please. All right. So you can see now we're working one leg at a time. Beautiful, beautiful, relax. So everything stays the same. Again, we've just got one leg working. Okay, we're gonna yeah. go for about 15 seconds on each yeah. leg. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Okay? All right, y'all, going in three, two, one. Here we go. Beautiful. Again, you can see Christian's using his arms to help him with this momentum here. Keep it up, keep it up. Good, keep going. Every time you jump up, try to pull those toes up for three, two, one, and other side, three, two, one, here we go. Good. This is our last time with these pogos. Keep working hard, you guys. Hold on to it. About 10 seconds to go. Nice job, nice job. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done. Oh, yeah. Excellent work. All right, y'all. Take a moment. We're going to slow things down a little bit. We're going to go through our squats with a knee pull. So we'll come into our squat. And again, working on this single leg balance as we work that hip a little bit, hamstring, Pulling our knee towards our chest. Now's your chance to slow down your breath after you did those pogos. Awesome job. We're going to go for just 10 more seconds here. See if we can get maybe one more on each side. Beautiful. <laughs> Good. And relax. From here, we're just going with our Frankenstein kicks, getting the hamstrings involved. Three, two, one for 30 seconds. Again, you can look straight ahead on these or you can turn to the side. And again, we're coming up on the end of our warm up. So I hope you guys are feeling ready to go, making sure that you are mentally prepared to stay in the game for this whole workout today. Nice job. Good. Again, last few kicks are coming up. Kick that leg just a little bit higher. Nice. Three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. Awesome Good job. work. Thank you, Natalie. Guys, I don't know about you. My ankles right now, my calves, my shins, 
everything feels like it's working and it's turned on. If through that pogo, through those pogo drills, you felt that very challenging, I would highly recommend that you would spend some time with that almost every single day. It's something, again, for parents and for basketball players out there, young athletes, that's gonna help your ankles stay healthy, right, as we continue to play. Now, here's what we're gonna get into for the skill of the day. We're gonna go through our 180 degree and our 360 degree jumps. Two feet here the whole time today, okay? Now, the first round, we're gonna go through a 180 degree turn in the air going through a jump. So, Nat's gonna show you what one rep looks like. She's gonna start by facing you guys, but then as she loads and jumps, she's gonna twist her body to go ahead and go 180 degrees, and she's gonna land with two feet almost in that same position. So again, she's gonna start facing away from you, and then she's gonna go ahead and load herself up, jump and rotate. Perfect, yeah, and now here's the challenge, guys. When you guys are rotating and landing, try not to land here on your toes, but let's try to be a little bit more midfoot, so our heel maybe barely touches the ground, and let's hold for a second, okay? Let's do the same thing now here, guys. Let's all do this together. We're gonna go four over our left shoulder, four over our right shoulder. Okay, now, whenever you feel ready, let's go ahead, bro. Low and explode. There you go, perfect. And then once you catch yourself, same thing. We'll go load and explode. Perfect, that's two so far. Here we go. Three, perfect, great job, guys. Remember, use those hands and try to get your eyes and your chest around as quick as you can. In the air, there you go, beautiful, Natalie. Be able to be aware enough of where your feet are landing. Are they landing tight or are they landing facing the sides? Try to get them to be as square as possible here when we're landing, okay? Beautiful, Nat, I believe this is the last one here for you. Beautiful, guys, awesome, take a second. So that was our first one, okay? And again, the challenge is, guys, can we land in that same athletic position every time, not being off balance, okay? Now, the second one we have is our 360 degree jumps. Now don't worry, if you have a hard time spinning all the way around, that's okay. Whenever you contact the ground though, we're looking to see how still can you be, how stable can you be, okay? Now Nat, go ahead and just show one and then we'll all jump in here together. Jump in and twist it, nice, that's awesome, that's perfect. And again, when we challenge ourselves like this, getting out of our comfort zone, there's gonna be a little bit of a wobbliness. That's learning, that's what we need, okay? Here we go Nat. Let's get it, guys. We have a total, again, of eight right here, okay? Four one way, four the next way. Let's try that out. All the way around. Nice, there you go. Good job, Matt. Good stuff. It's all right, remember, it's all about how you're approaching the ground. In the bat in the game of basketball, go ahead, Now you can keep on moving. Should I try not to turn as far and stop earlier? No, I would challenge you, try to turn as far as you can and just in, get in the game, you're gonna be landing in weird positions anyway. So we might as well expose our body to these weird positions, these weird landings. Yeah, nice. And again, you're just exposing your body to a little bit of uncomfort and discomfort. Beautiful, Nat, there you go, that's all right. Again, when we get hurt in the game, it's usually not in positions that we spend a lot of time in, right? It's usually in positions that our body has never been in before. So us exposing ourselves to these positions are great. I know, it's very, very challenging. Maybe try to use your hands too a little bit more and you can start to kind of rotate your hips before you even go out, Matt. Try that one out. Use your hands and go. Beautiful, there you go, that's awesome. And again, it's gonna be very hard, guys. What we really have to be able to get our feet into doing is our feet have to be able to pull up so that as I come back, I can try to hold myself. See, I didn't make it 360 degrees, but I'm pulling my feet up the second I jump and then trying to stick my feet. Let's go two more times for you, Nat. Nice, there you go, that's okay. Remember, there's nothing wrong, there's never a bad rep, but you can see as Natalie's going through it, go ahead and try that one out, Nat. Boom, her hips are getting across faster, right? And her chest, her chest isn't able to come across ooh, as quickly, right? And that's okay. Again, in the times of in the times of a game, the hips and the chest are always gonna be on different or different channels. We gotta try to connect them together. There you go, that's okay. This is okay. getting harder for me. Exactly, and that's all okay. Remember, we're not gonna do every drill perfectly. We just wanna expose our body to these weird positions. Now, last round, call out. When I say 180, you twist 180. When I th you say 360, you try to do a full spin around. Again, it's okay if you don't get to the end ranges, just try to as best you can stick your landing, okay? Here we go, 180. 
Perfect. There you go. 180. Perfect. There you go. I feel, I feel very dizzy right now. Yep. Yep. It's okay. Take your time. If you're feeling dizzy, then take your time. <laughs> Let's try 360 here. Nice. That's okay. Good stuff here. Other way. 360. There you go. It's all right. Remember, try to control. Try to find your chest and find your hips. Okay. We'll go two more times right here now. 180. Perfect. There you go. And 360. Perfect. Awesome. Good work. And again, guys, us just loading ourselves and jumping in these weird twisting patterns is great for injury prevention around the knee and the ankle. So don't get caught up with could I jump 360 degrees or not. Again, it's all about just exposing our body to different movements in all these different ranges. It's the best way for us to stay ahead of the game in terms of getting injured. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to get into now, the workout of the day. We got 12 minutes. We're going to see how many rounds we can get through here, okay? Now, if you, are, if you complete four rounds, you're working at a rookie level. Five rounds, you're working at an all-star level. And six rounds or more, you're working at an MVP level. And we're gonna, we got to try to fight to keep up with y'all, okay? Now, here's the first movement. We're going to go onto the ground. We're going to start the timer. Okay, at the same time that we start. So Nat is just going to show one rep, and then I'm going to start the timer. So here's the setup. Your lower back stays flat on the ground the whole time. Nat's going to lock out her arms. She's going to lock out her legs. And then all she's going to do is just a little bit of rock forward and back. That's one rep. That's two reps. Back and forward. That's three reps. Guys, the timer is on. Jump on in. We got 10 reps right here. Continue to breathe with your legs locked out. Your lower back pressing into the ground with your arms locked out. Now, now, once you get done with 10, then what we're going to do is we're going to stand on up. And if you're still working, it's okay. Keep working. Now, we have a wide stance. I'm going to reach across my body. And as I reach across, I'm going to get into a kick through. I'll come back up to my wide stance and switch up sides. So, now it's going to lunge, reach across for body, and then kick on through. Again, lunge, reach. Kick on through. We have five times on each side, everybody. Lunge, hand down, kick that same side leg. Hand goes across your body. That leg goes and kicks on through. There we go. If you feel like your hands and your toes are getting really close, then when you step your hand onto the ground, put that hand a little bit wider from your foot. It'll give you more room. Again, we have five reps right here, guys. Five reps. In this middle position, when Natalie comes back, you can see she's not rounding her spine here. Her chest is staying proud. She's pushing her hips back before she goes to the next side. Great job, Nat. Thank you. Once you finish up five, Nat, just let me know and we'll move on to the next one. Next, what we got, guys, is a side plank here. So Nat's going to start in a side plank on her elbow, and here's what she's going to do. She's going to pop her hips on up, and then from side plank, hold for one second, go onto your elbows now. Hold for one second, and then go to your next elbow. Hold for one second. Go back to the middle plank. Hold for one second. And then once you get back to where you started, that was one rep, guys. We got four more. Middle plank, side plank. Middle plank, side plank. That's two. We have five reps total today, guys. Side plank to middle side plank where she started. Every time you get back to where you started, that's you finishing one more rep, okay? Again, we have five reps here. Five reps, side plank, middle plank, side plank, middle plank, and then we end it back where we started. Great job, Matt. Now the next thing, the last thing we have here is high knees. We got a total of 30 of them. Let's check them out, Nat. Every single time she comes up, that's one rep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You're going as quick as you can here. We got 30 of them. 30, okay? Once you get 30 total, then we go right back down to the ground. And guess what, guys? We're already on round two. The clock is moving, okay? I'm going to start jumping in with Nat. Let's try to finish up as many rounds as we can here. Here we go. Remember, every time you go back and forward, that's one. Forward, back, that's two. Back, that's three. Forward, back, that's four. Here we go, guys. Continue to breathe. We got 10 reps right here. 10 reps here. Once we finish up there, remember, wide stance, lunge, hand down, kick that back leg through. We'll come all the way back. A lunge, 
reach my hand down, and then kick on through. Beautiful. Guys, we got five times here on each side. Beautiful. Lunge and reach across. And guys, if my hamstrings are tight, when I go here to the middle, I can lift my hamstrings up towards the ceiling. This is going to give me a good stretch in between my reps. I got five here on each side. Great job, Natalie. Continue to breathe. Great job, everybody back at home. Continue to move. Continue to breathe here. Lunge and reach. Lunge and reach. Lunge, reach, kick. Almost there, everybody. Here we go. Five times on each side. And then whenever we finish up there, we go on to our elbow, okay? Remember, side plank, forward plank, side plank, go back to the middle, and then when you get back to where you started, that's one rep. We got five here. You want to make this more challenging, take the top leg off. Boom. Side plank. Hold for a second. Hold in the middle. Go back to where we started. Again, both feet can be here. You can even go from your knees. I can go from my knees here to the middle, back over to my opposite knee, to the middle, back over to where I started. Okay, so there's so many different levels that you guys can work with here. Just make sure you get tight as you press the ground away with your elbows. Keep driving the ground away. Don't let your body sink. Push the ground so you can stay long and tall. We got five reps here. Great job, everybody. Good job, Matt. Awesome, and then once we finish up there, then we got our high knees, 30 of them. Beautiful. Then we go right back down towards the ground, guys. Make sure my shoes get right. You guys keep moving. We got our hollow body rocks. Nat's going to keep working. She's got her arms locked out, her legs locked out, and we're rocking here. One, two, three. The smaller... And the slower you make this movement, the better, guys. The more challenging it'll be here. There you go. Nice job. Awesome. And then we go right into the wide stance. Reach across, kick through. Reach across, kick through. There you go. Make sure you stay in the frame. We're kicking on through. Awesome. Great job, everybody. Continue to breathe. Continue to move. Here we go. Remember, lunge, reach the hand, kick across. Again, lunge, reach, and kick. Lunge, reach, kick. Lunge, reach, kick. Almost there, everybody. Keep it up, guys. We got about five more minutes to go. About five more minutes, y'all. Continue to breathe, continue to move here. Awesome, and guys, this movement is probably really new for you guys. We've done kick throughs, we've done front kick throughs and side kick throughs, but if it's still feeling a little new, that's okay. Take your time, if you're feeling tight, that's okay, don't worry about it. Just keep slowly moving through it, your body will get more accustomed. Side plank, forward plank, so side plank, forward plank, side plank, forward plank, side plank. Here we go, forward plank, side plank. There you go, beautiful. Hold it there for a second before you switch. And again, you can see I'm only using one leg now. One leg on the ground as I go forward and as I go side, forward, Side, four, side. Great job. Awesome work, Matt. Keep it up, bro. Once we get done there, we got 30 here. Man, those go by the quickest, but sometimes the most challenging. Whew. Here we go, guys. Keep it up, Matt. Guys, we're almost home. We got less than four minutes left. Here we go. Remember, as we start getting here towards the end, 
That's when fatigue is going to start to crawl in. We're going to start to get a little bit more tired. We're going to start to get a little bit more fatigued. So take your time. If you need some water, grab some water. If you need to take a break, take a break. If not, let's keep working. Let's see how many rounds we can get through here. Nice work. Find more space. Mm -hmm. Remember that the wider your hand is, or the wider your foot is, the easier that kick through will be. So you can give your back leg that room to actually come all the way through. Here we go, guys. Five on each side here. Five on each side, and then we go to our side planks. Then after side planks, we go right into those high knees. Woo. Awesome job, everybody. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. We're almost home. About two minutes left, everybody. About two more minutes. Here we go. Here we go. Remember, every time you get back to where we started, that's one rep. Hold on for a second. Get extra tight, and then move on over. Whew, chest proud. Try not to let your spine fold over. Stay long, stay tall on the ground. Ooh, good stuff. Almost there, everybody. Wipe my damn sweat off. Here we go, guys. Whew. Here we go. 8, Great job. Whew. We're almost there, everybody. Keep it up. Keep it up, y'all. Great job, Nat. Yeah. Guys, we got about a minute left, okay? About a minute left. Here we go. Whew. 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 Arms locked out. I keep pointing my toes so my quads stay locked out. I keep my lower back that same position, slowly rotate forward and back. Perfect. Here we go. Keep it up, Matt. Keep working, girl. So stick with this program. Let's finish out month one strong, okay? We're always about decompression at the end of workouts. So let's go ahead and let Natalie take us through the last part. Thank you so much. We're going down to the ground for this one today, you guys. We're gonna bring our legs out in front of us here. We'll take our right leg, bend the right knee, plant that foot on the outside of our left knee, take the left arm up, bring it across so that we're opening up to the right side of the room here. Now when you do this, try not to let the shoulders round forward or your head drop. I want to challenge you to pull your shoulders back. Keep a proud chest and tall through the top of your head. Let's take three inhales, three exhales that we normally do to get a little bit deeper in the stretch, to slow down our breath, slow down our heart rate. And with each exhale, see if you can twist just gently a little bit more to the right side. 
Awesome. And when you're done, we'll slowly come out of that. We'll switch outside. So bend the left knee, bring the left foot to the outside of the right knee. Right arm comes up and over here. I'm going to use my left hand to push into the ground to help me stay tall. I'll rotate, find my first sticky point, take a breath, and then see if I can rotate just a little bit more. Two more. Last one. Awesome job. Now from this position, let's allow the knees to fall to the side. Let's tuck our back foot. Back hand presses into the floor as we drive our hips up. We're going to reach up and over, and then I want you to bring this top arm to face the ground. I want your eyes to look at your hand on the ground. As you squeeze your glutes, take three breaths. Maybe feeling the stretch all along your lateral side or front side of your body, down in your hips. Maybe all the way to your knee. After your three breaths, we'll switch up sides. Again, we're going to tuck the back toes. Back hand presses into the floor as we press the knees into the ground, drive those hips forward. We reach up first, and then this top arm is going to kind of drape over our head. Look down at the hand on the ground. Take your three breaths. Good. Last one. Nice and slow. And then just come on out of that. Awesome job. You guys can stand on up. Just going to roll on up. Give yourself a little pat on the back. High five fist bumps. Grab your water towel off. You guys did awesome today. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Before we go, we want to leave you with our journal prompt for the day. Today's journal prompt is thinking about someone who maybe inspires you or who has been a big part of your life. Okay? We call these role models. So I want you to think about who is your role model, maybe you have more than one, that's okay, and then why. So being able to list out the qualities that makes them a great role model is really important so that you can kind of hone in on those and hopefully you can step into those roles as well. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow.